faculty and staff, and with very special greetings from the class of 2002, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you to the 38th commencement exercises for John Randolph Tucker High School. To ensure the dignity of our commencement, the class of 2002 asks that you take all pictures from your seat and that you be careful not to obstruct the view of others. We also ask that during the awarding of diplomas that you please refrain from making comments and we ask that you hold your applause until all graduates have received their diplomas. It is my pleasure to ask you at this time to please stand and join me for our academic processional and to remain standing for the flag salute and the national anthem.
today are being presented by the Tucker High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC, commanded by Major Lawrence Meyer. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for our national anthem and the retirement of the colors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. standing for the retiring of the colors. Thank you very much. You may be seated. I'd like to thank you all for joining us on this very wonderful afternoon. And we have some very special platform guests with us today. And I'd like to welcome our guests. Mr. Andrew Hagee, School Board Representative for the Three Chop District. Mr. Hagee will be addressing the graduates later in the program. Mr. Robert Hall, school board member from the Brooklyn District, and Mr. Hall will bring greetings from the school board. Good afternoon, class of 2002. On behalf of the Henrico County School Board, I bring you greetings and congratulations on your achievements thus far and wish you the very best in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Bringing greetings and congratulations from our Board of Supervisors is Mr. Dick Glover, representative from the Brooklyn District. Thank you, and uh, to the class of 2002 J.R. Tucker, congratulations. 
I bring you greetings and congratulations from the Board of Supervisors, and it's my distinct pleasure to do that. I would wish you the best in everything you endeavor to do as you embark on your future. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Glover. And bringing greetings from our school division is our very own superintendent, Dr. Mark A. Edwards. Dr. Edwards. Class of 2002, congratulations, good luck, and God bless you. It is my pleasure to introduce to you a very supportive administrative staff of Tucker High School. They've been here with this class and with our students that we have all year long, and they have worked countless hours to make sure that our school is a place where learning uh, occurs every single day. So it is my pleasure to introduce the administrative staff of Tucker High School. First, Ms. Sharon Payne, class principal for the seniors. <laughs> Mr. Earl Benz, junior class pr assistant principal. <laughs> Mrs. Patricia Heath, sophomore class assistant principal. <laughs> Mr. Bruce Dickens, freshman class assistant principal. Mr. Rick Butler, chairman of our guidance department. Also on stage with us this afternoon are three wonderful student speakers, and they will be introduced later when they present their speeches to the graduates and to the families and guests gathered here today. We are pleased to recognize our special guests from Henrico County Public Schools Central Administration. These people are here for us every single day. They work hard to make sure that education in Henrico is the very best education that is possible to have in the United States of America. And I would like that they, for them to stand collectively at this time. With us today are some very special guests from the elementary and middle schools that have served our graduating class. Would these principals would please stand as their names are called? Representing Springfield Park Elementary, Mr. Terry Hogan. From, yes, that's all right. From Twin Hickory Elementary, Mr. Greg Florence. From Longan Elementary, Mr. Michael Hill. From Jackson Davis Elementary, Mr. Les Stanley. From Pocahontas Middle School, Mr. Terry Moore. And from Short Pump Middle School, Mr. Bruce Watson. No successful journey is ever completed alone. These outstanding graduates have had the benefit of being taught by the best faculty in the state of Virginia and in the United States of America. And it is my privilege and honor to ask the Tucker faculty to please stand and be recognized. Now it's my privilege to introduce to you Mrs. Sharon Payne, Assistant Principal for the Senior Class, who will introduce our student speakers. Ms. Payne. Thank you, Dr. Fisher. Good afternoon and welcome. It is my ple pre pleasure today to introduce to you the speakers for the Class of 2002. Our first speaker today is Ms. Nia Pleasance. Nia has been a class officer for the past four years. She is a student in our French Immersion Program and a valued member of our girls' soccer team. Nia is involved in numerous clubs and organizations and has been inducted into the National Honor Society. She is a leader within the Total School Program and graciously serves whenever asked. Her smile and demeanor have so beautifully graced our campus for the past four years. She will be attending Davidson College in the fall it is my pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Nia Pleasance.
good afternoon. Graduation, the culmination of four long years of hard work. On such an auspicious occasion, I find myself a bit incapable of expressing all the thoughts and feelings I want so badly to share. The excitement of applying to college, the memories of friends, and the tremendous sigh we can all finally breathe knowing we actually did make it. However, these thoughts and feelings are things we've all been experiencing in the past few days and weeks of taking finals or enjoying not having to take finals. First conversations with our soon-to-be roommates and final goodbyes. So I didn't want to waste my three to five minutes talking about the usual. I have to say there have been many times in the past four years when I often wondered if I would ever get through high school, when I doubted high school itself, and just when I'd given up hope on ever succeeding or ever being satisfied with our school, I was reminded of the goodness that lives in us all and was shown to never count a man out because despite what you may think about the cruel and malevolent characters that may exist, we're fortunate enough to also remember those who cancel out all the harm that those others do. During our high school career, our class in particular has had two instances to bond together and show the goodness overflowing that pours from the human heart. Unfortunately, both instances arrived after two tragedies, and it's sad but true that it often takes a tragedy for one to realize all that they have and bounce back. I'm not a misanthrope by any means, I hope, but just like everyone else, there are times when I'm often incredibly dismayed by others. After September 11th, there is no doubt in my mind that our country, and especially our school, is lucky enough to possess so many people of amazing caliber. Our student body was fortunate enough to have known two such amazing people. About a year and a half ago, Tucker High School lost two of its own family. But through these losses, I believe we've all gained something. You may not be able to define this something in terms of words, but I believe we can all distinguish it. Keith and Lauren's spirits have prevailed and will forever live within us. I know we've all been in those moods when we're mad at the world and everyone in it because we think no one understands or just that things just couldn't get worse. But it's always at that point for me that something extraordinary happens to remind me of just how truly generous people are. Whether you just failed a math test or everything seems to be falling apart and you feel like you've reached your tolerance for all this drama, someone comes along and does something so simple as to give you a hug or a special compliment that can turn your day around. It's these random acts of kindness that reveal the love we all hold for one another, the love we give and take from each other daily that always seems to help us get by. Those are the things to really appreciate about mankind, which leads me to a quote. Not the quote that I was given, but one that has inspired me for the past six years of my life. It just so happens to be by one of the greatest bands ever. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. I think this quote embodies man's persistence to endure and epitomizes the compassionate side of man. Throughout the many trials and tribulations our high school and the world has endured, we've not just survived these trying times. We've reached deep down for that something extra to prevail. I decline to accept the end of man. I believe that man will not merely endure, he will prevail, because he has a soul, a spirit, capable of compassion and sacrifice and endurance. Congratulations, guys. We did it. Our next speaker is our salutatorian, Ms. Zan Su Dong. Zan Su has participated in 13 different clubs and organizations on our campus. She is the winner of several achievement awards, including the Harvard Prize of Book Award and the Award of Honor from the Virginia Academy of Science. She has received outstanding achievement awards in the areas of science, English, and world history. Zan Su is a member of the National Honor Society. She will attend the University of Richmond in the fall. Please welcome our salutatorian, Ms. Zan Su Dong. Good afternoon. I honestly have to admit that right now I am a nervous wreck. I mean, having to make a speech in front of y'all is not something I would do voluntarily, believe me. 
I pretty much just wanted to get up here today and say something along the lines of congratulations, good luck, and peace out. You know, something really informal and really, really short. Fortunately, that didn't really work out, so I'm going to have to talk for a few minutes longer, actually, for about three to five minutes longer. <laughs> Try to be patient, though, because I know that I'm just as anxious as you all are to get our diplomas, get this over with, and get out of here. The experiences we've had these past four years in high school will, hopefully for most of us anyway, be one of the most memorable, most meaningful times of our lives. Prom, pep rallies, football games, the school's latest gossip, uh, driver's ed, school plays, and even cafeteria food. We've been through a lot together. We've had to endure through quizzes and tests on subjects that we'll probably never understand, despite how many times a teacher has gone over it. We've slept, well, we've tried not to sleep through classes, and I know a few of us have tried really hard. We've been up nights doing projects and those dreaded research papers. Okay, hold on. All of these things are what make high school, high school. They will follow us throughout the rest of our lives and will become a part of who we are and who we will be. We've also been through a lot of tough times as well. And through it all, it's still amazing to see how we've been able to come together as a class and overcome them. We've suffered through numerous tragedies, not just in our nation, but at our school as well. And even though they might not seem fair, or right, we've learned from them. And we've changed for the better because of them. We've learned to be compassionate individuals, to be there for one another, to lend a helping hand in times of need. We've learned to unite as a school, as a community, and as a country. But most of all, we've learned that life, whether we like it or not, always has some unexpected twist or turn just around the corner. That doesn't mean that we should just give up on life because of it. Because there's always going to be some unforeseen bend in the road. No, not at all. We should, together, we can face it, we can fight it, and we can survive it. We can just about stand up to anything that lies in our path, as long as we can depend on the people around us. Two such individuals that I've come to know, love, and respect are my parents. They have sacrificed so much for my happiness, and I just want to thank them for it. I know that they're sitting out there in the audience filled with pride because of the sacrifices that I've had to make in order to be up here today. But I just want to tell them that right now, I am so much more proud of them for the sacrifices that they've had to make in order for me to even be up here in the first place. So, Mommy and Daddy, thank you for everything. Okay. <laughs> and to all the parents, relatives, teachers, and friends who are here with us today, or at least here with us in our hearts, thank you for being a part of our lives. You have been there to support us, to protect us, to love us, and to guide us through life. You are our role models, our heroes. And without you here today, we wouldn't be here graduating today. <laughs> I have to say that high school has been pretty great, no complaints, and I will never forget it. We came here as tiny, insignificant freshmen, unsure of our places in the world, and we will now leave with our heads held high, ready to enter the next stage of our lives, ready to make something of ourselves. And I know that there will be bumps in the road along the way, but never let, you, never let that slow you down. So, in conclusion, I want to congratulate the class of 2002 because we finally made it. I wish you all the best of luck, and go Tigers! <laughs>
<laughs> Our final speaker this afternoon is an extremely gifted individual who has also been involved in our total school program. He is an athlete who has received numerous awards for academic achievement and was the recipient of a JRT faculty award. He is a member of numerous clubs and organizations and has served as president of the National Honor Society. There are two words that come to mind when you first meet this young man, scholar and gentleman, for he is truly both. He will be attending the University of Virginia in the fall. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you the valedictorian of the class of 2002, Mr. Ryan Kirshner. Good afternoon. Graduates, we have come here today to celebrate a great many things. We celebrate our success, our sense of perseverance, and all our tireless dedications to the academic ambitions we set forth for ourselves over a decade ago. Our presence here is symbolic of our unity and our faith in one another. And above all else, our collective gratitude for the parents and family who gather here with us in a show of support for the person that their unconditional love and dedication has brought into the world. Class of 2002, lucky is not powerful enough a word, uh, powerful enough a word to describe the gift we are being given in being allowed to stand here and present to our loved ones our collective gratitude for all that has been given to us by those you see around you. I say this because as of September 11th, 2001, there are at least 10,000 more children in this world who will not be afforded that opportunity. The unspeakable events which unfolded before our own eyes that morning is something which will be recorded in history as one of mankind's darkest moments. Naive in our confidence in human rationality and dignity, we as a people were forced to confront the most hidden aspects of our humanity. Burdened by the indisputable evil set before us, pessimism about the nature of our fellow man seemed natural. That is, of course, until the desperate circumstances placed upon us that day revealed the truly courageous nature of humanity. In the days following the terrorist attacks, the dismal cloud of defeat which surrounded the events of September 11th was pierced by the illuminating truth revealed by acts of hero heroism and courage by our fellow citizens across the country. We as a nation and a community came together to declare our unity, pride, and iron will despite what had happened flying our national colors, donating our money, our time, and our blood, sweat, and tears to the rebuilding of our confidence in America. It has since become clear to me that the truly admirable aspects of human dignity become most apparent when they are the least likely. Tragedy seems to reveal in us an, an innate sense of a higher calling, inspiring and encouraging despite the sorrow of the moment. As a local community, we have come to know all too well the bitter taste of disaster, much like the time of the terror attacks on a day which seemed too much like any other. Our own pair of fallen friends, immortalized in our hearts, infinite in their contribution to our lives, are to be eternally remembered. We will remember Keith and Lauren, not only for their cherished memories we keep, but for the lessons learned about ourselves in their honor. I have never been so touched and yet so humbled by the generosity of the human spirit as I was by the acts of healing that I witnessed in the days following the tragedy of a year and a half ago. Whether it be the 1st of November or the 11th of September, humanity has proven its worth to me in a way immeasurable by word or expression. And I offer my most sincere thanks to those of you who have inspired me. Let today's ceremony be a symbolic message, not only of our success in academic endeavors, but our triumph in the face of adversity. Here today, we shall stand together one final time and declare proudly in one voice, those who cannot sit with us today will reside with us forever. For we will always be thankful, we will always live in your inspiration, and we will never, ever forget you, our heroes. Humanity has proven itself to us in so profound a way since our beginning here that no tragedy, not even of a magnitude measurable by twin tower proportions, can bring into question our faith in one another. I call on you all, as the future leaders of the free world, to take this message of optimism to heart and preserve it to ensure that our nation stays the course on its path to historical greatness. Our destiny rests in our hands, for we are the future, and we, like all generations before us, 
must prove our willingness to accept that burden. I guess the best way I can leave you all is to say thank you. Thank you for being my lifelong friends in times of celebration, my heroes in times of inspiration, and my family in a time of need. Congratulations, seniors. Today is our day. I think it's pretty clear why we educators are always so pleased when we get a chance to hear the thoughts and the words of the seniors that have spent four years with us. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank each of the parents in the audience for sharing these wonderful students with us over the last four years. It has truly been our privilege to get to know these wonderful students and to have them to be part of the Tiger family for the time that they have been with us. We will sorely miss them and we want them to know that they will always be in our hearts if they're not on the sidewalks. So I want to thank you for that. Now we're going to give the audience a little bit of a gift here like we do at this point in the program each year. And as the senior chorus members come forward, I would like to tell you a little bit about the number that they're going to sing today. One of the things that when we look at this group of people that we understand is that one of the great gifts that they will have is the gift of time. But that time always, as the speakers have alluded to, is the real teller of truth as to what happens in their lives. And so though these young men and women, led by Ms. Hackey, Carrie Hackey Golden, our very able choir teacher, and by Mr. Alan Hall, our very wonderful band director, who by the way, is the person who has orchestrated this particular number for uh, the band and for the chorus. And this wonderful group of people is going to sing for you the reasonably popular song by Enya, but the wildly popular song for our graduates that says, who can tell where the road flow goes or where the day flows, only time.
Thank you very much, Ms. Hackey Golden and Mr. Hall. That was absolutely wonderful. Each year, the Tucker High School faculty selects 10 outstanding seniors to receive the faculty medallion. These awards were presented to our seniors at the Seniors Honors Assembly in May, but we do wish to recognize them at this time. So when I call their names, would they please stand? Katie Weir, Brandon Anderson, Jordan Salzberg, Nia Pleasance, Joey Minnick, Ryan Kirshner, John Sneed, Jackie Mitchell, David Hood, and Emily Cohen. Let's give these wonderful young men and women a round of applause. Thank you very much. Every year, the Tucker High School faculty selects one outstanding senior to receive the prestigious John Randolph Tucker Memorial Award. This year's recipient embodies the concept of the exemplary student. This award was also presented at the Senior Honors Assembly, and I am honored to present the award from the Tucker family today to our 2002 recipient of the John Randolph Tucker Memorial Award, Mr. Jeff Marklin. Would Jeff please come forward? And on behalf of the parents in the audience, I am pleased to thank the members of this class for their outstanding academic effort during their four years at Tucker High School. This effort has resulted in $1.5 million of scholarship awards, over 98% of that for academic merit. So I'd like to give the parents congratulations, the students congratulations, and a round of applause for everyone for an outstanding performance. Okay, at this time, I would like to ask Mr. Andrew Hagee, Three Chop District School Board Representative, to come forward and deliver the Declaration of Graduation. And before Mr. Hagee comes up, I think there's one more group that I would like to recognize in front of this entire group of people. Would the members, senior members of our baseball team stand up for one last time? Coach Barry, Coach Hicks, is he around? Come on out, Coach Hicks. Stand up, Coach Barry. They're in the back. I'm going to tell you, you guys, it was an incredible trip. We're proud of every single one of you, and we were so happy to be along for the ride. Now Mr. Hagee is going to pronounce you guys graduates. Mr. Hagee. Sure, we don't have a few more speeches. <laughs> you okay. Want to wait a uh, I think so. Okay. Will the candidates for graduation please stand? <laughs> Platform guest, ladies and gentlemen. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Enrico County School Board, and on the recommendation of the faculty and administration, I declare these candidates of J.R. Tucker High School graduates with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to their to. Will the graduates now please turn in your tassels?
may be seated. Thank you very much, Mr. Hagee. Congratulations, graduates. And now with the assistance of Mr. Dickens, Mrs. Heath, Mr. Benz, Mr. Butler, and Mrs. Payne, we will now award our diplomas. Amanda J. Abbott. Lanisha Carmen Alford. Ebony Nicole Allen. Caitlin Dora Alves. Jennifer S. Anderson. Davia Delane Archer. <laughs> Tiffany J. Bagwell. Melissa Ann Baker. Stacy Barclay. Jacinia De Jesus Batista. Carissa. Lindsay Becker, Caroline A. Bebo, Jessalyn B. Bebo, Taryn Ashley Blake, Nicole Blumenauer, Michelle Lane Bohannon. Crystal G. Borum, Marjorie Bosu, Danielle N. Bottom, Lauren Page Briars, Nayef Antar Apuzaki. Jonathan Michael Acevedo. Brandon Marshall Anderson. Philip Andrews. Jeremy Michael Armstrong. Jeffrey W. Auth. Christopher J. Authier. Edwin V. Bailey, Joshua Stephen Bateson, Isaac S. Bernstein Miller, David L. Bethany III, Thomas E. Bishop, Emerson James Blaze, Leonard L. Fosquet, Jr., Zachary L. Bradley, T. J. Bratton, Jr., Daniel C. Brewer, Christian C. Briggs, Michael K. Browning, Emmett C. Bruner, Carla Janae Brooks, Amanda Elizabeth Burnett, Tiffany Nicole Burns, Kimberly 
Renee Webb Calvo. Brandy Nicole Carper. Sarah Lynn Carr. Elizabeth Marie Carroll. Lindsay Veronica Catlett. Stephanie Renee Chandler. Yi R. Chen. Erica Renee Clark. Garnett Octavia Clark. Brittany Alexandra Cobb. Stephanie L. Coffey. Emily Claire Cohen. Jennifer A. Cole. <laughs> Tiffany Renee Comer. Jessica Faye Compton. Amanda Nicole Corson. Amy J. Cumberland. Christopher Scott Bryant. Sean Michael Bryant. Bradley Willis Burton. Andrew C. Butler. Levi K. Carter. Richard H. Carter. Troy D. Carter. Craig Robert Cheeseman. Philip Michael Shervenak. Ni nee Chong. Robert Ellis Klein. Christopher M. Cobb. Jason T. Cobb. Luke Delaney Glenn Cocky. Travis A. Cole. Randall B. Cooper. Kevin D. Courtney. Zachary A. Cresson. Joseph B. Cummings. Christina Ray Cummings. Megan Nicole Cummins. Jasmine Lavinia Dabney. Ashley Nicole Damron. Heather Lee Dixon. Casey Ann Dismuke. Brittany Lynn Dobb. Zan Sue Dong. Carla Tolentino Durante. Sarah J. Early. Rana N. Eldanov. Morgan B. Ellis. Tiffany Janine Ellis. Christy Lynn Irk. Joanna Lynn Ernst. Lindsay Vaughn Everett. Tiffany L. Filer. Tiffany Nicole Flournoy. Courtney Evelyn Fox. Brandon J. Curry. Curtis H. Dawn. Anthony Harim Daly, Jr. Jonathan A. DeKent. Robert B. Decker. George W. DeGraw. Michael Joseph Delanoche. Stephen C. Dennis. Kevin P. Doffelmeyer. Justin Francis 
Domeret, Carl W. Ellis, Michael C. Farmer, Adnan Foslik, Robert Matthew Firestein, Kyle Aaron Fricky, Randolph Grayson Furman, Donald W. Galloway, Jr., Jonathan Ian Gardner, Thomas D. Geary, Rachel Elaine Fricky, Brooke Aaron Furman, Kelly Lynn Gadsby, Patricia Galante, April K. Gallagher, Rosio Garcia, Abby M. Geeter, Catherine C. Gentry, Paula Ann Giannati, Saima Z. Gelani, Jennifer Lynn Good, Leslie Ann Goodman, Alyssa L. Gribben, Sophia Marie Habenicht, Caitlin Suzanne Hackenberg, Hebatala M. Hackey, Abby L. Hanford, Michelle Leanne Hardin, Rosetta D. Hardy, Ashley Monique Harris, Gabriel Jacob Goldman, Julius L. Goodwin, John A. Gullet, Matthew T. Gusty, Douglas Vincent Hardy, Edward S. Harrelson, Sean P. Harrington, Zachary M. Harris, Rockabool Hassan, Preston D. Haskins, Brian J. Heberlein, Joshua C. Hess, Darren M. Henman, Brady M. Holmes, Larry P. Holstrom, Jr., David A. Hood, Rustin H. Horner, Bilal A. Hassan, David J. Hummel, Rebecca Lynn Harris, Quasi Lasana Hines, Lisa Marie Hoover, Tatiana M. Horacek, Lisa Marie Humpage, Raylynn Ladia Hunter, Lindsay Alicia Jones, Suzanne Lovelace Jones, Macy Louise Kazmarek, Melanie E. Keller, Amelia B. Kelly, Jennifer Summers Kipley, Aaron Revere Lampkin, Emily Wells Lang, Kristen Ann Lawrence, Jennifer Thorn Truk Hwang Lee, Kelly Marie Leach, Ashley K. Lewis, Whitney T. Lewis, 
Crystal A. Lloyd. William B. Hummel. Andrew Charles Irvin. Brian B. Ives. Aaron B. Jones. Sharif Omar Jones. Brian Daniel Kaufman. Ryan C. Kirshner. David Keith King. Joshua E. Lamb. Joshua H. Landis. Ole Lawn. Ryan B. Larkin. Jun I. Lee. James Greentree Lamaster. Alexander Edward Lesniak. Chris B. Lofton. Brian R. Lynch. Christopher R. Lynch. Brant M. Lyons. Dominic J. McDonald. Lori A. Laundere. Nicole A. Manigault. Jenny Nicole Manley. Lena Marie Martin. Ann F. Marie. Nicole L. Matthews. Ashley E. McLaughlin. Patricia A. Merriman. Jessica C. Miller. Jacqueline Y. Mitchell II. Whitney Blair Modlinski. Monica N. Morgan. Laura Meredith Morris. Stephanie F. Morris. Ashley M. Moss. Nadia H. Nakwe. Jessica R. O'Connell. Kathleen Turner Parkerson. Jessica Nicole Patterson. Lauren M. Pauley. Maynard B. Mangum IV. Jeffrey T. Marklin. Andrew M. Martinez. Walter P. Matthews. Gregory T. Mays. Gustavus R. McCracken. Joseph J. Minock. Anthony A. Mistler. Jamile A. Moses. Matthew C. Mullins. Brandon S. Nash. Douglas A. Newman. John H. Wynn. Fu T. Wynn. Jason Kyle Knuckles. Andre M. Nunez. Keith D. O'Brien. Gavin M. Ogden. Amy A. Pavona. Bonnie Penn. Alicia M. Persigan. Cassandra Ann Fole. Yenny H. Fawn. 
Nia Janae Pleasance, Jennifer Ann Polchinski, Rachel Nicole Posner, Lori Brooke Trilliman, Jessica Smyer Reed, Karen Lee Ricketts, Caroline Rodriguez, Christina E. Roman, Melissa Sue Roman, Elizabeth Gwen Rossi, Sarah L. Rutherford, Victoria A. Ryder, Holly Jennifer Riffle, Farah Salam, Rachel C. Samuels, David Scott Peretz, Quee P. Pham, Odwin C. Porter, Zachary B. Price, Justin W. Ramson, Bora Riang, Aaron N. Reinhardt, Daniel E. Ricky, Gilherme A. Rosa, Adam E. Rosenfeld, Brian H. Russ, Oran Salahovic, Jordan Chandler Salzburg, Nassim F. Saman, Sopal Son, Brian C. Shardine, Matthew J. Schmidt, Andrew T. Schott, Justin R. Shia, Simone M. Samuels, Suzanne M. Sanderfoot, April Dawn Sawyer, Gina Marie Scott, Julia Ann Scott, Jennifer Lynn Sears, Jamie E. Seibert, Saran Sang, Hope C. Schaefer, Sarah H. Shamoradian, Yashita Sharma, Ho Yu Sin, Megan Ruth Smiley, Crystal Nicole Smith, Diana D. Smith, Megan Elizabeth Smith, <laughs> Tiffany Michelle Sneed, Karen L. Spears, Michael V. Shibley, Joshua Adam Silverman, Jared B. Simpson, Stephen W. Singleton, David McRae Smith, Jr., Philip Bentley Smith, Brian Addison Sneed, John Holman Sneed, Andrew A. Spear, Michael James Stewart, Adam M. Stewart, John Matthew Story, Matthew 
William Stotesbury. Mark, Mark E. Streeter. Zachary Allen Tarr. David P. Teeters. Jan Tenpass the Fourth. Jeremy D. Terlau. Tony Lee Terrell. Lauren Page Sprinkle. Melissa Elise Stevens. Kimberly N. Street. Catherine Jane Stumbaugh. Colleen Bridget Sullivan. Deborah Ruth Sward. Kelly McGill Tartaglia. Amy Lynn Taylor. Ashley Marie Taylor. Kristen M. Taylor. Laura Shanae Taylor. Rebecca A. Taylor. Naraman Taratalernkiat. Emily Ann Thomas. Mary Susan Locke Thomas. Kelly Lynn Thurston. Andrea L. Turner. Holly N. Urban. Jacqueline L. Veloso. Nicholas B. Thruston. Johnny C. Tiet. Khan Lap Tran. Richard Vu Tu. David A. Turner. Theodore L. Turner, Jr. David Christopher Valario. Jeremiah William Van Zyle. Angel M. Vasquez. Stephen Ross Berry. Christopher J. Vicari. Travis M. Vice. Kenneth C. Wagner. Matthew T. Waring. John Michael Warren. Clark Fitzhugh White. Hank J. Williams. Howard Kalalena Williams. Jordan L. Wilmer. Okay. She is in. She is in the line. Justin P. Wolf. Christopher T. Warden. John Corey Yesbeck. Prashanti Vimoretti. Lauren N. Von Herbulis. Lindsay M. Wade. Azrar A. Wakil. Taryn Weatherden. Catherine L. Weir. Wendy Elizabeth Wheeler. Kristen D. White. Chelsea Romaine Williams. Dawn N. Wingfield. Megan L. Wyatt. 
Tiffany Joan Yip. Julie Christine Zahalka. At this time, would you please rise for our recessional?